Okay, has anybody seen this before? It's with the body born with the splay legs or the, the legs are spread open and they always um, leaning on their chest. Um, I'm a breeder, I have a, a lot of birds and I have tried a lot of methods uh, for the birds that are born with the splay legs and they seem to be fine uh, while you applying the method like you put a sponge, little sponge, you open up two holes and you stick their legs through there. They seem to work okay, but it, it, it seemed not to fix the bird's problem. And I, I did it to a lot of birds and they did recoup a little bit, but they, they ended up being having the, a problem. They couldn't stand on the sticks, they couldn't that they couldn't fly and land on like on uh, on the very thin sticks and it just didn't work out for me and I just came up with a with a method where the problem most, most of the time the problem is it's not that the budgie is born with the problem it's after the fact that he's born and uh, their legs spreads out that's because the bottom of the next box is too slippery it's too fine of a of a surface and so I'm like okay let me build a box and see what I could do to fix this problem to prevent this um spread legs uh, issue and um, I'm gonna show you real quick over here when it comes up uh, what I, what did I do to fix the problem over here I'm building on uh, next in box um, I do not recommend you to build one unless you have like the tools and stuff like that. It's cheaper to go buy one for $10, 10, from 10 to $15. This is if you got maybe um, spare woods laying around and you got the tools, drills and all that, then, then it's worth it doing. But if you don't have that, go buy a box. Do not waste the money and time on doing a box. It's not worth it. If, if, if you're a breeder, it's something else. You gonna need to be making a lot of boxes and stuff like that. Then you, I recommend you to go, go get the tools and stuff and, and 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 make the boxes. That way you'll save a lot of money. Okay, as you see there, I like to like open up a hole at the bottom of the next in boxes. Make a hole there. That way the, all the eggs for the body stay in one place and they don't be rolling around in the nest box. And then, you know, you're gonna have a hole there. So you need to patch that. You need to, you put another piece of wood over the hole. Like I'm doing there, like I just did. See, and that's the piece that's gonna cover the hole, so all the legs will stay there in the hole. That way, all the hole, all the all the eggs get warmed up, and the bodies don't have to go chase all the eggs all over the places in the in the nesting boxes. If you're moving it around or something like that. 
okay now to prevent this playlist i'm gonna show that's what i'm showing my friend over there look you're gonna you're gonna scrape the box with a screwdriver in in an x pattern all over it see that will give the bird grip to stand all right and prevent the, the legs from spreading out and um, they'll they'll be standing normally that's what i was showing there And the, then you put a stick and my friend is asking me why is the stick so long where when well, I got a lot of birds so they do they keep bothering each other out when they trying to mate and stuff like that and uh, um, this way with a long stick they could mate right there like the hand will come out of the hole there and will meet the male and they will mate right there on the same box without flying over to another little stick or something. That's what I'm trying to show my friend right there. See, the stick is long and that's for that, all right? So thumb up if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you.